Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Dylan. Today I'm gonna to take you through tennis wall exercises that you can do. So, I'm at this wall just here, and what I can show you is that you can do many, many different exercises simply with just the tennis ball and yourself. All you need is a racket and a ball, and you're ready to get started. The tennis ball acts as a hitting partner as well as a ball machine. As the ball just keeps coming back to you, you're able to keep striking. The great thing with the wall as well is that when you strike the ball faster, the ball will receive back to you even faster. And if you strike it slower, then the same thing, it will come back slower. You can also add a little bit of variety when adding different slices and adding more topspin, enabling the ball to come back higher or deeper towards you. Another great thing as well is when serving, the ball will bounce back quite nice and high as it could be like a short ball for the serve and plus one. Here is the exercises right now. A nice exercise to start with is alternating forehands and backhands. You're able to find rhythm while also staying light on the balls of your feet when alternating between ground stroke shots. When playing tennis, it's very important to control the speed of your shots through faster acceleration with the racket, as well as hitting a little bit slower with more spin. You're able to generate a lot of power with the use of your legs and upper torso in rotation when striking the ball. When slicing on the backhand, it's important to make sure that your shoulders are turned and your feet are in a closed stance position. And also you're trying to lean into the court when slicing. As you can see in this video, I'm doing a mixture of slicing and drop shots. The alternating ground stroke to volley is quite a challenging exercise, but this can be very useful when moving forwards, such as when you approach the net. For this exercise, the goal is to stand inside of the baseline. As you can see, I've laid out cones as my baseline. The goal is to not move behind the baseline and try to take the balls on the rise or half volley if needed. Surf plus one is a great strategy to focus on when training. This is very relatable to when you're playing in a tennis match. Here you can see that I'm serving and looking to take on my forehand on the next shot. The serve plus two is another variation added on from the serve plus one. Once you've hit your serve and your first shot, you're then looking to take on the next ball after. There are two variables here when hitting the higher and lower ball. When hitting the higher ball, you want to add a little bit more spin over the net, hopefully getting the ball higher and deeper. And the lower ball is when you're striking the ball more aggressively and this will stay lower over the net. Using the wall when smashing is a great way to find rhythm. You're able to hit down against the wall for the ball to then reply with a high bounce so that you can smash for the next one. Make sure that you move your feet to get into the right position correctly. In this exercise, I'm showcasing the closed stance and open stance forehand and backhand. You're able to see that on the shorter balls, I'm able to step in with the closed stance and on the wider, deeper balls, I'm using an open stance. One of my favorite volleying exercises against the tennis ball is when you alternate between the forehand and backhand volley. This is great for when you're able to move your hand when striking and taking the volleys. Hope you guys enjoyed the 10 wall exercises. You're able to incorporate this into some of your training sessions if you do not have a practice partner to play with. Please be sure to subscribe, like and comment, and check out my other videos just up here.